Housing prices around the country have shot up tremendously in the wake of the pandemic. ABC 7's Will Heron has been tracking this continuing story and the effects it has had on the borderland real estate market. Gordon Ball is leaving El Paso with his daughter to meet up with his wife who works in Louisiana. Now, he's going to miss the hospitality and the comfort of El Paso, but something he's not going to have to worry about is selling his home. I've had no problems. I think it went on at 5 to 12 last Thursday, and there was six appointments the next day. Anna Cosgrove with Amar Realty is handling the sale of Ball's home. How long are houses on the market for now? Well, last year at this time, they were on the market between 50 and 60 days. This, this year at this time, about 20 days. According to MLS data from March of 2021, the median price to buy a home is $186,695. That is a drastic change from March of 2019, when the median price was $156,750, a jump of almost $30,000. From 2017 to 2019, the increase was nearly $12,000. I spoke with a potential buyer of Ball's home. It's a little frustrating because when I see a house, it's already been sold or it's already in the process. And it's like, ah, there's a lot of selling, but the people are just too fast to buy the houses. Owner of Amar Realty, Adrian Dominguez, is glad to have all the business, but says it's hard to watch first-time homebuyers struggle. It's multiple offer situations, but my heart really goes out to the first-time home buyers in our area who don't have a lot of cash to play with, and they're just trying to make the best offers possible, but a lot of the times they're not succeeding. Another thing working against buyers is the listings. In March of 2019, there were more homes listed at 2,542. In March of 2021, there were only 994, making competition much more intense. Will Heron, ABC7. And Dominguez told ABC7 she believes the low interest rate, out-of-town buyers, and the cost of building a new home have combined to create the real estate market that we're currently in.